Hello everybody, I'm happy to be back and talking to you about the content of the new Tibet update. Uh, so you will find once again uh, uh, a lot of initiatives that we have been undertaking over the last uh, few weeks, starting with our chairman Richard Gere who was in town last week because he was honored by uh, Freedom House with uh, an award for his advocacy work uh, for Tibet. Uh, he was recognized for his tireless commitment to the welfare uh, of the Tibetan people and it was really great to be there and to see ICT's work uh, being recognized by such an important bipartisan group which decided also to endorse the reciprocal access to Tibet Act which is the bill that we have helped introduce in Congress both in the House and in the Senate and of which we have talked already in uh, the previous uh, Tibet update. Uh, and we use also that opportunity to have uh, some more meetings uh, uh, on the Hill with our chairman. And as a result of that, just yesterday uh, on the House floor, Congressman McGovern and Congresswoman Ross Lithenen, they spoke on the floor with a huge picture and uh, portrait of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And they used the opportunity uh, to remind both members of Congress and the Trump administration of the need to continue to push for progress inside Tibet. In particular, Congressman McGovern spoke about the reciprocal access to Tibet, uh, about the lack of human rights uh, for the Tibetan people inside Tibet, and on the need for the Trump administration to uh, appoint the special coordinator for Tibetan issues. In this Tibet update, you will also find a call to action for all of you uh, because there is a bipartisan letter that is now circulating in the House of Representatives and we are asking all of you to call your representative and ask them to support. Uh, you, you will see and you can check whether your representative has signed or not. Uh, in addition, we also had uh, um, on April 25th an important open letter by the U.S. Commissioner uh, for Religious Freedom, uh, Tenzin Dorji, the first Tibetan American who has appoint been appointed to this position, who wrote a very touching and important open letter to the Panchen Lama. As you know, the Panchen Lama uh, is, you know, was kidnapped when he was only six years old and his whereabouts are still unknown. We continue to ask the Chinese authorities to provide information about his welfare and to allow him to receive the education and uh, the, the information from uh, the Tibetan people that he needs to receive. So uh, this is uh, uh, once again, I think a very informative uh, Tibet update. I'm going next week to Dharamsala for a very important trip uh, about which I cannot tell you much uh, about right now, but I look forward to reporting to you when I'm back from there next time. Thank you so much.